Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show, and guess what? We're back on the auto show route, and there's some electrifying things happening at the Kia booth. This is it. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the all new 2022 Kia EV6 GT line. But before we get into this new electrified vehicle from Kia, let's talk about what's going on here. Kia, they've been selling vehicles here in the United States since the early 1990s. Boy, oh boy, have they changed the way the auto industry is doing their business. Such great vehicles like the Stinger GT, the Telluride, the Seltos, the K5, the Carnival, and definitely with this EV6 GT line. Now what's great is, is you're gonna get that electrified power, but you're also gonna be able to get performance and I think we won't have to argue on this, some style that is second to none. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this EV6 GT line and find out, is it the electric vehicle you need to be parking in your garage and driving every day? Let's find out. Right off the bat, the style. The people designed this vehicle really, really know what people like yourselves want to see all on the streets. Starting at the front of the business, of course, you're going to get full LED lighting. Love the way they did the LED headlights. Look at the LED daytime running lamps. This satin gray finish is absolutely stunning. Shows all the body lines. Now, part of the challenge of an EV is you need to cheat the air. And the way that they've done this is in such a unique artistic way, it really makes it stand out from the rest of the crowd. So in this lower section, you could see we have some functional side air curtains. You get a little bit of gloss black. Love this silver trim, just nice little touches drops down and then some gloss black on that lower splitter edge. Now, as we come across the front section, I think the Kia badge fits this car to a T. When I see this badge now, not only do I think of this brand that's doing some amazing things, but it really ties in nicely with an electric vehicle. Of course, you're gonna get a forward-facing camera. I love the way they did that tiger nose style grill design. Even though there's no need for a grill technically, since this is an electric vehicle, it helps you tie it into all the other vehicles in their lineup from the Kia brand. Now working your way down that style that they did, if you notice, there's a little bit of a concave curvature to it. And I love the way they did this separate splitter area because like I said, not only is this about cheating air to maximize the range, but this does have some performance at the end of the day, especially when you look at the EV6 GT, you're looking at 576 horsepower. Mind blowing. We get up onto the hood. Love the way it waterfalls nicely into that simulated grill. The Kia badge, clean body lines, everything kind of flowing right towards the eight pillars. We kind of wrap around the bend. What are we working with? Wheel and tire setup on our EV6 GT line. So just like at the front, it's all about generating that airflow. Same thing with the side of the vehicle. You got your updated Kia badge. Love the way they did all the ornamental work to make this wheel pop. Very, very stylish. And if you're wondering, Joe, what's the size of that wheel? 20 inch wheel, 255 on the width, 45 series sidewall. And remember, we're talking about an all new electric global chassis here. So there's a lot of new things, not just the vehicle itself, the chassis, the wheelbase. And remember, when I say wheelbase, we're talking about the space between the front wheel and the rear wheel is the same as the Kia Telluride. You could get this rear wheel drive or all wheel drive with two motors. But love the style of the wheel, nice rotating machine aluminum with the gloss black and that Kia badge. Now, as we continue down the side, look at the way they did the side fenders really nice. Blacked out on the A pillar, black out on your side mirrors. You're gonna have 360 degree cameras. Really, really nicely done. The roof line is absolutely stunning. Side of the vehicle, like I said, the wheelbase is the same as the Telluride. That's a three row midsize SUV on this vehicle. And if you're hearing some noise, remember this is move-in day at the Chicago Auto Show. So there is a little bit of noise. Just bear with me because we wanna bring this to you and we're doing it now. You're gonna have a flat bottom floor on the interior. Love the way they did the gloss black up as it curves. It really shows motion, even though the car isn't even moving. You're gonna have these flush mounted door handles, all about cheating the air. Obviously we have them open so that we could open up the doors, but these handles will be flush mounted. Look at that nice roof line into the quarter window. They did a floating roof design by taking the gloss black into the rear. 
sexy rear fender. I love a nice sexy rear fender like that, curving down. Look at the beautiful detail work. LED lighting all the way as we go across here. And then of course you're gonna get that Kia badge, that nice black chrome finish. Look at the EV6 badge. Really ties in nicely with what's working there. And then you're gonna have that lower simulated diffuser area with your LED uh, reverse lights. Even the way they did the design here, it doesn't look like a vent, but it looks like the style from the front. And then to finish it off, up top, look at this spoiler. Nice low roof spoiler, extends down, gonna give us downforce as that air comes over the rear glass and up and over to give us that power. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior so we could talk more about numbers on this EV6 GT line. Right, guys, business time in the EV6 GT line. Now what's great is, is there are gonna be different trims. Obviously GT line is gonna slot in underneath the GT trim. No pricing is available yet, but expect to see these in dealerships near the end of the year into next year but we're gonna have to see what the price is gonna be but let's see whatever the price is what you're getting for the money on this GT line to the door panels absolutely stunning nice soft touch material even on the armrest a little bit of gloss black and I think that's gonna have to be the zonk for me is the amount of gloss black not only on the outside but the inside they do give you a small size door pocket there with some felt lining so you could put your surge soda in there and probably a large fry from McDonald's. We do have the Meridian sound system, optional sound system, multi-speakers, gonna give you that clear sound. Very tasteful on the speaker grill cover, the little fine detail. And then talk about detail, check out the dash. Absolutely love what they did here. You got your EV6 badge. Look at this diagonal striping, something so different. And that's what Kia does. They do the difference and they do it in a great way. Ambient lighting with the silver trim. And then as we slide across, look at the way they did the lighting. Really, really tasteful, very sexy. You're gonna get nice large screens. Obviously, we can't turn it on because we're at the Chicago Auto Show, but you're gonna have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, touchscreen capability, nice material. You're gonna have actual knob controls to do a plethora of different functions and then because this is an ev vehicle we do have a flat floor so because of that you're maximizing passenger volume usb 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 so a total of three usbs an area for a purse a bag a sack a satchel a bag of apples or if you were at the super bowl maybe that signed football from tom brady put it right there check out this area i love the way this extends out it almost reminds me of being in a spaceship in the millennium falcon you're going to have ventilated seats heated seats heated steering wheel love the silver trim your power on button looking really great obviously with that direct drive transmission you could select your different drive neutral reverse very easily wireless charging two cup holders nice material I'm, it's almost like a swimsuit material i really really like like a wetsuit with the diagonal stripes, and then the seats are a thing of beauty. I love the way they did the white leather style material with that microfiber suede, nice electric assist for the passenger and the driver, and the GT line has a sunroof, which is fantastic. But why don't you go ahead, come on over to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of the EV6 GT. Hi guys, business time. I know you wish you were sitting in this seat because this is pretty phenomenal. Love the way they did on the sill, the nice aluminum uh, silver trim there. You have your seat controls easy to get to. And then the amount of room in here is quite incredible, especially with the sexy lines of the exterior. Steering wheel, definitely something different. You got a flat bottom, that center horn area with the Kia badge, easy to get to those familiar buttons. And then of course that large digital display. Can't wait to show you all the functionality. You're also gonna be able to have a head up display as well. So we're gonna be bringing this to you as the production versions come to fruition. But while we go ahead, we talked about up front, let's talk about the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this. All right guys, back seat time. And what's great about this having a flat floor is like I said, passenger volume in here. Now it is a little dark, remember, like I said, we're working at the auto show. This is how sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get the footage. But nice to have the amount of room. Let me show you something. Look at the way they took the AC vents. They put it in the frame. I like to see that. I also like the way they did the backs of the seats, something different. It is plastic, easy to clean, and a nice large pocket. You could put a calzone in there, no problem. 
rear area looking great. You got your USBs built into the backs of the seats. I remember I saw that on the Telluride for the first time. And then the amount of leg room and headroom, remember I'm six feet tall and watch this, you ready? Reclining seats in this vehicle, such a nice touch. Armrest, massive, two cup holders, nicely done. But why don't we go ahead? I know people are gonna use this as their daily transportation. Let's check out the cargo area and see how much space we have in the EV6. Did that help all right, at guys, all? Time to get into the cargo area. Real simple, you're just gonna look, search out for the button, you hit the button and it's a nice electric assist. And what I love is that it opens up at a nice quick pace. Now, with this being a sportier style electric vehicle, you could see the amount of room. Of course, those seats are gonna do a 60-40 split. And let's talk a little bit about what's going on when it comes to the overall dynamics with this vehicle. So you're looking at the worst, world's first 800 volt multi-charging multi vehicle. That means you could do 210 mile range charge in 18 minutes. Like I said, rear wheel drive or all wheel drive with the 77.4 kilowatt lithium ion battery. You have that 300 mile range. And really what's great is you could get this with different horsepower amounts from 167 horsepower all the way up to 376 horsepower in the GT. And I think that's really the smart thing to do is to have that flexi flexibility, have that versatility for people's different budgets, different price points. But you know what? I'm dying to go on throttle in this EV6 GT line. We're gonna have to wait. We're here at the Chicago Auto Show. I definitely wanna thank James and everybody at Kia for allowing Radies Rides access to this amazing vehicle. Very exciting to see the direction that the brand is going in. Let me know what you think about the EV6 being an electric vehicle. Would this be the one that you would get over a Tesla, Mustang Mach-E, or any of the other competitors that are out there now or coming very, very soon? If you wanna keep seeing auto show cars here on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera, doing the business here at the auto show. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for busting your behind. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.